What is going on, everybody? It's your... It's your friend, Pomage. Or Austin. Or FaZe Pajamas. Whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm doing this commentary over some old gameplay. And it is not unlisted anymore. I had it unlisted for a while. But I don't know why. But for just some reason, like, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. No, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I had this sudden urge to show everyone my growth as a player. And I think that's kind of what I want to talk about. Is, like, how I grew. <laughs> like, as a player or in YouTube, I guess. I don't know. Um, when I first started, it all seemed easy and all that. I'm pretty sure it happened to everyone. Like, when you... <laughs> Before you get your PVR or Dazzle, I started with a PVR. Before you get those, then um, before you get those, you hit like amazing things, and that's what I—that's what happened to me. I was like, "Yo, I'm hitting such good stuff," but then you get a PVR, and then that all changes. That happened with me. I don't know. I think I didn't really snipe before, but I was still hitting like multi sprays or triple sprays or whatever. I thought those were amazing, but. Um, you'll see in the background are old videos of mine. It just seemed fitting. I didn't want to get a, a commentary over it. It just seemed fitting just to show you guys like my growth as a player. Um, what I, uh, I was, uh, I was one of those people that I seen something and then it was just all right. And I was like, yo, it's kind of like the demo. <laughs> Let's play some demo. Everyone, everyone's doing it. It's all right. <laughs> and it's really different to how I feel about it now, but that's how it was for me. And I'd play it. I'd play it a lot. I would try to get clips. Like, uh, back then, back then, I haven't even been a part of this community that long. Um, but back then, I would watch Sprat. His Taj, his was, his was a beast in my, his diversity. Oh, I loved that Taj. Um, then there was Raideds. I watched his Tajs, and they had, yeah. I, they had demo in it, and I was like, yo, if he does it like that, I want to do it like that. And I, my shot was so weird back then, because I would crouch after every shot. Goodness me, I never, like, I tried quickscoping straight, I tried quickscoping fast, I tried all that. <laughs> it just never worked out. And then I kind of, I played Claw back then too, and then on Black Ops, on um, the first Black Ops, I was like, yo, I'm going to try and be like every, I'm going to try and stand out. I'm going to take off this aim assist. Screw it. I don't need it. So I played Bla all of Black Ops pretty much with no aim assist, 10 sensitivity with claw. Goodness me, what was I doing? <laughs> oh, I just won't understand like what made me want to do that. It didn't work out, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, I did play claw for like a lot of those old episodes because you know I felt comfortable. I was like, yo, I don't need tactical. I can drop shot faster than that, and I always tell my friends that, and, yeah, um, so there's this one day, I was just, like, yo, uh, I have a friend, uh, his name is, uh, Aqua, Aqua Imposure, he was, like, XX trick shot or something like that back then, his name's Dylan, um, I went into a private match with him, I was like, yo, I'm gonna try without claw, and then, God know it, my accuracy just jumped right up. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Something weird happened. Like, it must have been. My accuracy was, like, pretty goddamn good. And I was on, like, 8 or something back then. I was switching everywhere. I was, like, 10 and 8. Something weird like that. <sighs> Excuse me. But, um, uh, it was, like, 10 and 8. And then I kept in private match with him. I was like, yo, let me keep doing this. I'm, like, still not completely used to it. It took me a good, like week to get used to it i wasn't even fully used to that i had to play pubs more I, was, I couldn't just keep going in private match lobbies and just kept 1v1ing or like with friends and all that oh sorry sorry um but that's what that's what happened and uh it came to my idea came to my eyes really that i should probably uh drag shot more um <laughs> I don't know why, it's just like, I just wanted to not miss, and what made it work is I would zoom in, and then I'd drag right to him, and I kind of switched everywhere, because with 8, I would like look closely to them, I'd try to anyway, 
um, and I'd zoom in and I'd drag towards them after I zoomed in. Or like with 10, it didn't really matter. I could just look in their general direction and then zoom in and then drag shot them. It never really worked for me to just like kind of look over them and then like kind of move my scope as I'm going in. That's what she said. God damn it, Austin. Stay on topic. Um, so that's what I kind of did for a really long time. And uh, I did that around, a, um, I don't know, when Iridescent 1 came out, the first Iridescent, like two months, three months before that, um, I was still getting used to the idea of quad feeds and all that. And it was really, really weird. But I still kept my, the claw, the claw, Toy Story people would say. Um, I still kept that for trick shotting because, you know, why the hell not? And back then, uh, I would watch Fakie and I heard he used claw. I was like, yo, I'm going to go phase Fakie on this and then <laughs> do a trick shot and miss and give it another couple hundred tries. That's what I would do. And uh, that is really weird. Um, so as soon as, you know, I met Marcus on Twitter, that's what happened. Um, I sort of like... I, my uh, style of playing, like, changed instantly. Like, it really, really changed. I don't know what happened. Like, I started to not crouch. Like, I paid attention to, like, the littlest things. I was like, what could I be doing wrong that could really make me a lot better? So I kind of fixed it, really. Um, I was, back then, I would sprint a lot. Back then, I would crouch a lot. Back then, I would, like, you know not go back and forth or use like cover when I needed it um, I wasn't really sh smart about killing the people in order that kind of matters because it's like kill the person that's not looking at you, you know, or kill the person that's looking at you or kill the farthest one and then the closest something like like around those lines that's what I kind of followed and that's it's sort of changed a lot <laughs> you'll see that in a uh, I have made all my old videos public now. Uh, I really hope you enjoy them so you can see my growth as a player. but uh, Or as a sniper, really. <laughs> Sorry, my voice sounds weird. I'm just noticing that. Um, hmm. Yeah, it really... And then as soon as, uh, as soon as I met like Predator, it really changed. I started hitting things like off the max. Like, And then when I heard I was going to get a chance to join Optic... Something happened, man. <laughs> Something really happened. Um, it was definitely for the better. Because I was hitting clips like a madman. And it only got better. <laughs> it only just jumped up even more. Like, I don't know. It was really, it's pretty, it's not a miracle. What was, what was I, why was I, why would, why would I say that? It was like spontaneous. I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> I was just horrible. And then I thought it was good. And then that. And then here I am now. Like, I'm... Other people tell me that I'm, I'm that... I'm phase pomage. I used to be just that little old YouTuber. I'm making, I don't know, nine kill streak clips look awesome. <laughs> or something. I don't know. It's, uh... I don't know. I don't... I don't know if it inspires you. That's great if it does. Like, I'm happy that it does. Like, it's not a bad thing. I'm actually really glad. If it does end up inspiring you, that's awesome. Like, it just shows you that something, you know, it just sometimes happens out of nowhere. Um, but, yeah, I, I got some, I, I met some followers and uh, subscribers that really wanted to know this story. So I told them it, kind of. So I thought I'd just make it in a commentary. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you want me to go more in depth, I did pretty more in depth, but if you want me to go in specifics or something else, comment and ask. Like, legit, that's all you have to do. And if I see it and I'm just like, yo, I can do that, then I'll do it. I will do it. So, uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And, um, you know... Watch my growth as a player. I made all of them public. I'll see you guys later. See ya.